Well, fans know and will forever love Dan Loria as Jack Arnold on The Wonder Years. He's also a fide Broadway star from Lombardi to A Christmas Story, the musical. And now he's back on stage in the classic play, Mornings at 7. Take a look. Then he began to pound me, chest, back, side, all over. Still didn't say a word. Then he took my blood pressure. Oh, he did everything you could think of. Examination lasted over an hour. Then you know what he said? What? He said, Mr. Swanson, there's not a thing in the world the matter with you. You have a good heart, sound lungs, fine stomach. I don't know when I've seen a man of your age as well off as you are. Now, what do you know about that? Just a lousy doctor, that's all. <laughs> And Dan is with me now. Dan, good to see you. Oh, good to be here, sir. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no, thanks for coming. Uh, first of all, how does it feel to be back on stage? Oh, great. After this last year. Yeah. It, it's, uh, you know, I've, I've done a play a year my entire career, and last year was the first time I didn't. So That's I just crazy. couldn't wait to get back. Yeah, so it has to feel pretty good. Yeah. But um, this, this show was a hit on Broadway in the 80s and then the early 2000s, right? So yeah. uh, set the story up for us a little bit. Well, it's about a, a, a family of four sisters in Midwest in the 1920s, a more innocent time. Yeah. It's not a political play. It's just a, a very much an enjoyable play. And uh, our producers, uh, Julian Schlesberg and Eric uh, Falk and uh, Sandy Marshall, they were trying to get people to come to Off-Broadway. Yeah. Now, Broadway relies a lot on tourism, and we're all right, for that. Right, get, right. You know, but Off-Broadway is our heart and soul. Our main objective is to get New Yorkers to come back. And Off-Broadway, people don't realize that's really the kernel of where new plays It are. is, because they go from Off-Broadway to Broadway if they right. make it there. So you got to see things early on. But you're doing this at the theater at St. Clement's, which is the biggest Off-Broadway theater in it, the it's, city, it's right? It's the biggest stage, for sure, which we need because our set is two houses in the backyards. And it's one of the few places where our set could fit. And, and you know, we got such a great church? Deal. It was an old church, and most people don't know this, but 1978, there were three writers as playwrights in residence, Lyle Kessler, P.J. Barry, and me as a playwright. Really? Yeah. You did? Oh, I did not know that. See that? I learned I something new about you today, Dan. Yeah. But listen, this is this show feels like a true ensemble piece. Oh. It's got an incredible cast, and, you know, I just have to mention, your wife from the Wonder Years <laughs> is also in this. Uh, Allie, Allie Mills, Mills is, yeah. is playing your wife in this as well, right? Yeah. Uh, un unfortunately, what happened is the great actress, Judith Ivey, she, she stumbled backstage and she <laughs> tore a ligament. So they said, who's crazy enough to just jump, jump in, in with no rehearsal <laughs> book in hand? And I, yeah. I, I, Actually, I called Pat McCorkle, maybe the best casting director around because she still loves Pat it McCorpin. yeah yes, yes. she still goes to the theater you know it's not how many hits you have on your facebook you better be able to act or pat is going to call you yeah and pat said if she's crazy enough let's call Allie." and uh we did and Allie went in she's been on book for the last week but oh uh gosh. like john rooms on tony roberts and uh they all said it's amazing what she's doing with the book in hand but She'll be off book by the end of the week, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, it's so nice to be reunited, I'm sure. But, you know, speaking oh, of the Alex. Wonder Years, though, yeah. you know, the reboot is happening now. Have you watched it at all? Oh, sure. Delay called me. And, of course, Fred Savage directed the pilot. And, and Neil Marlins, who created the Wonder Years, is involved with it. And, yeah. You know, my only question was, what, what took so long? Yeah. I was going to say, why, why do you think right now is the right time well, to bring this back? I, I don't, I'm not sure why now is the right time for anything that's good. Yeah. There is no right time. And if they stick with the original formula of the Wonder Years, they're going to be fine. And yeah. Dulé says, boy, this, this show has that chemistry. We get people to laugh, but at the end, a little tear. A little tear, too. Well, we saw you uh, show up on another throwback TV show on the Goldbergs as the Grumpy Neighbor. How <laughs> yeah. you like doing that? Well, that was a lot of fun with Jeff, you know, and... <laughs> Uh, that whole night, Danica played Winnie Cooper. She was on a show, and of course, Fred was on a show. So it was like a Wonder Years night. Oh it was great. God. If we can help the other shows, you know, you, yeah. you never want to wish a show bad. You, no, you, no. You know, you and I'd like be a to cheerleader. see you pop back up 
there and anywhere you can because yeah. I love seeing you and I'm so glad that you popped in here today uh -huh. and you can catch Dan in mornings at 7 now through January 9th at Theater 8 at St. Clements. For tickets and more info head to morningsat7.com. Dan, thank you so much. Thanks for having me.